coming back to your second question, what uh, Dr. Hung and, and I have been doing with this particular gene therapy project is to test multiple delivery uh, options. We have used uh, viruses. You can train or select some viruses that go preferentially to certain tissues. We have used little li uh, fat globules called liposomes. And we have been trying to give them a zip code that would take them to the specific area where they are supposed to go. We have had conversations with Dr. Ferrari and with the colleagues at Rice University who are involved in, in nanoparticles or nanotechnology. Um, it has been a little bit more challenging to put a, a molecular zip code, if you wish, on those, but that's work in progress. And that's a very important area where Rice and uh, other institutions within the medical center are, uh, are leading. So there was actually a federal initiative for nanotechnology over the past decade or more. And there are several drugs on the market. Some of you in the audience may even have uh, some passing familiarity with one of them, a nanoparticle albumin-bound paclitaxel. Gabe, maybe it's worth illuminating the difference between that and this technology, if you, if you care to. Because nano doesn't just mean one thing. Well, there are drugs like Doxil and Abraxane and some others in which the, the basic technology of producing very small fat globules that can be loaded by a variety of chemical or physical means with a drug uh, have been developed. And what, what that does, that technology does, is that instead of, let's say, adriamycin, which some of you may have had, going everywhere the, where the blood takes, uh, you know, where the blood goes, uh, these particles uh, uh, limit the distribution of the drug to certain tissues. And because of that, they tend to not have certain side effects. But these are relatively simple constructs. And what the nanotechnology field is doing is to use a variety of other substances, um, uh, different metals, different um, salts that are different from fat, and they can make them of any size and uh, any um, uh, architecture and with various electric uh, affinities. And uh, the, so the, the, the possibilities are limitless, but it, it is a, a, a relatively new field, and uh, at least in oncology we have not quite uh, mastered uh, that technology, but you can use those for diagnosis, you can use those for, to distribute drugs, you can use uh, that technology to measure concentrations of various substances in the bloodstream or in other parts of the world, so it is very, very exciting technology. And I'm sure that within the next several uh, years or decades, perhaps, we will uh, learn much more about how to uh, control this and, and deliver uh, these uh, nano, uh, nanoparticles to where we want them. 